Correct. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Covenant Latin School Second Quarter Honors Assembly. We especially welcome all those who are tuning in over the internet, wherever you are in the world. Students meriting honors for the second quarter, earning a 90 or above in all taught classes for first honors, and an 83 or above in all classes for second honors, are in the fourth form, meriting first honors, Andrew Apollonia. <laughs> Catherine Hammerly. John Hubbard. Mia Iona. Allison Knotts. Boston, Maine. Shannon McCarthy. Lauren Smith. Brianna Sweeney. Ella Thornberry. Mary Lauren Vesey. Kazu Watanabe. Meriting second honors. Madison Denham. Abigail Hearn. Keller White. Jack Wilbur. In the third form, meriting first honors, Eva Auger, Brady Boyer, Lauren Ehrman, Kevin Garuccio, Taya Hagen, Kayla Jackson, Simon Jell, Roman Lindkugel, Jonathan Miller, Benjamin Pertel, Jacob Shooter. Meriting second honors, Sarah Barton, Isabel Enzweiler, Benjamin Fulmer, Jay Kroger, Kalissa Prisnowski, Christine Shaw, Zachary Trout, Preston Widener.
in the second form, meriting first honors, William Barton, Anthony Brown, Olivia Brown, Andrew Browning, Gunnar Brummett, David Fallon, Marielle Girding, Ian Giblin, Lily Hagen, Auburn Harden, Mary Meyer, Julia Smith, Eliana Stegman, Gianna Seifert, Sarah Watanabe, Meriting second honors, Patrick Biernot, Katie Chang, Evan Murray, Kaylin Myers, Lucy Obermeyer, Jackson Richardson, John Sodergren, Kayla Thompson, Ethan Wong, In the first form, meriting first honors, Isaiah Bement, <laughs> Lucas Dwyer, Gemma Feldman, Claire Hoffman, Kiara Adapala, Kaylee Johnson Ball, Monica Gell, Jacqueline Mathern, Cecilia McDaniel. Ryan Noe, Nathaniel Novak, Danica Prisnowski, Karina Stankova, Charlotte Wagstaff. Meriting second honors, Koei Chang, Lily Daner, Rachel Ehrman, Wyatt Ethier,
Andrew Flickinger. Brooke Jackson. Aiden Ross. Elizabeth Russell. Magdalena Stankova. Lucas Thompson. In prep eight, meriting first honors, Matthew Beard. Jayla Dow. Krithi Kumar. Elizabeth McWinnie. Andrea Perez. Brendan Riley. Alexiana Stokes. Sydney Suttles. Gabriel Weber. Meriting second honors. Kieran Berg. Weston Jesenowski. Russell Johnson Ball. Evan Liebrecht. Rebecca Neal. Joseph Bertel. Emily Schlinkert. In prep seven, meriting first honors, Anthony Bohannon, Drake Herget, Miranda Howe, Ethan Luckhart, Jillian Mathern. Truett Moore. Caroline Potts. A Million Roads. Meriting second honors, Meredith Fennell, Luke Hearn,
Connor Jesenowski. Jeremy Jill. Hope Warning. The National Honor Society of Secondary Schools. In order to be invited into the Covington Latin School chapter of the National Honor Society, a student must be a sophomore, junior, or senior, must receive honors for six high school grading periods, and receive honors this quarter as well. Applications and requirements for membership must be submitted to Ms. Tuis within two weeks, January 28th. The induction ceremony for family and friends will be held on April 29th. The following students have earned membership in the Covington Latin School chapter of the National Honor Society of Secondary Schools. Please come to the rostrum to get your induction packet and be recognized. In the third form, Kayla Jackson. Jay Kroger. Zachary Trapp. In the second form, William Barton, Patrick Biernot, Olivia Brown, Andrew Browning, Gunnar Brummett, Katie Chang, David Fowler, Marielle Gurdy, Ian Giblin, Lily Hagen, Auburn Hardin. Mary Meyer, <laughs> Kaylin Myers, <laughs> Lucy Obermeyer, <laughs> Julia Smith, <laughs> Gianna Seifert, <laughs> Sarah Watanabe. The following students have earned a pin in the Covington Latin School chapter of the National Honor Society. To earn a pin, a student must have honors nine quarters and this quarter as well. The pins will be given out at the induction ceremony, which will be held on April 29th. Please stand in your eighth period class and be recognized by your class walls. In the third form, Preston Widener. The Excellence Award. The Excellence Award is given to students who earn 14 merit points and are at least of junior standing. Merit points are awarded each quarter. Five merit points are awarded for each first honors report card. Three and a half merit points are awarded for second honors, and a half a point is awarded for any grade above 90 on a non honors report card. 
The recipient of the Excellence Award this quarter is, in the fourth form, Keller White. The Covington Latin School Alumni Association Scholarships. Covington Latin School Alumni Association sponsors several events throughout the year that raise funds to support students at Covington Latin. New scholarships were instituted this year. To apply, students were asked to write an essay on what a Covington Latin School education means to them. The Alumni Association Board selected the following students' essays, and they have each been awarded a scholarship. Please come to the rostrum and be recognized. In the fourth form, Andrew Apollonia. In the third form, Simon Gell. In the second form, John Sodergren. In the first form, Kaylee Johnson. And now for athletic awards. Varsity letters and chevrons. The award of a varsity letter in Latin school athletics is determined by the varsity sports coach and the athletic director. Criteria include in no particular order or value, minutes played in varsity games, contribution in games and practices, practice and games attendance, and esprit de corps manifest. A varsity letter shall be awarded to a student athlete for his or her participation in his or her first varsity sport. A pin, or in Father Hiley's vernacular, a chevron, will be awarded for all other varsity participation in subsequent seasons or sports. Earning a varsity letter for e-sports, Caleb Graves. John Paul Guilford. Joshua Howe, Weston Jesenowski, David Jones, Owen Wilson. Earning a Chevron for eSports. David Fowler, Austin Matheny, Evan Paul, Michael Shaw, Karina Stankova, Magdalena Stankova.
the Kentucky Track and Cross Country Coaches Association Academic All State Award. Congratulations to all the athletes and coaches on a very unique season. In order to be recognized as an all-state athlete, athletes must have been on the state roster for their team at the KHSAA state championships. And regarding grade point averages, academic all-state first team, the GPA is 3.75 to 4.0. Honorable mention is 3.5 to 3.74. Earning academic all-state first team awards for the 2020 cross country season are Kaylee Johnson Ball. Ella Thornberry. Congratulations all. You remember our last award ceremony, Ms. Tua's had some words to inspire us with. And now I'm introducing a member of the student council, a leader, alumni scholarship award winner, athlete and scholar, an all around great person, Andrew Apollonio. Thank you, Dr. Kennedy. Good afternoon, Dr. Kennedy, Mr. Krebs, Ms. Tuas, all those watching at home and here in school. Congratulations, everyone. We finished the second quarter. Now, before I begin, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about me. I started out here as a prep eight. Uh, my sister was a junior, and she liked to give me a lot of advice. Thinking about it, she gave me some great pointers. So I decided to share my own five tips for success at coming to my school. Having almost completed five years of CLS, I can certainly say that I've learned a few lessons. My first tip, know that everyone here is ready to help you, but you need to ask. You need to take initiative and ask for help. If you're struggling with a class, don't wait for your teacher to sign you up for a tutorial. You need to take that step and be responsible for your grades. If you're struggling for a math problem, don't be afraid to ask a question in class or see a teacher after school. Ask your friends for help as well. Personally for me, junior chemistry was not my strongest subject, so I asked my friends for help and they gave me the assistance I needed. Don't be afraid to reach out to your own classmates if they appear frustrated or overall worried. Look out after each other. Over time, you will see that your classmates are your graduating class. You may not see it now as I once did when I was a prep, but the people you're with right now, they will have your back. Two, try new sports, try new clubs, try to get out of your comfort zone. An easy way to work with people in other grades is through sports and clubs. Find whatever even slightly interests you. Attend to practice. Come to a club interest meeting. See if you like it. There's absolutely no harm in trying something new because you never know, you may actually enjoy it. For example, I joined the soccer team when I was a freshman, but I hadn't played since pre preschool. And somewhat embarrassingly, I couldn't even kick the ball very well. But that didn't matter to me. I wanted to get better. And honestly, those four years of soccer were a lot of fun. Obviously, academics are the priority over sports and clubs. And that is why if you're eligible 
you are unable to attend any sports practices or club meetings. But it is important to learn to balance yourself out. I have found that picking up a sport during the school year became necessary to me. Let's face it, school can be a stressful place. I use sports to reach some clarity, to help calm myself. I encourage you if you are overwhelmed, try to pick up a sport. Or if you need a break from all the academics at school, then join a club. If the extra activity is doing the opposite effect for you that it did for me, then that is okay. Everyone is different. And don't know how to join a club or a sport, ask around. Find the people that participate in those clubs and sports. Ask them if they like it and if you should enjoy it yourself. My third one, know that you never fail, you learn. This may be an optimistic view, but truly it is important to realize that you never fail. Yes, you may make mistakes, but what I've found is that you can always learn from your mistakes. You can even learn from the mistakes of others. You will realize that everyone still learns from their mistakes, from a prep seven to a senior. Everyone still has moments of panic when they think they failed, but they didn't. When I was a prep eight, I was facing my first math test. <clears throat> studying for math, I never heard of that. For my studying, I looked over my notebook in a matter of minutes, believing I would ace my math tests as I always would. I never had to worry about studying in general, specifically math. But let me tell you, when I saw the first problem on that test, the color drained from my face. Yes, I failed the test. But from that, I learned an important lesson and an obvious one at that. I need to put more effort, effort uh, I wasn't used to putting into, into studying math. And from there, I made sure to never have a repeat of that again. Four, respect. Let me tell you about a specific classroom poster that I often gaze at in this school. It said, give respect, get respect. Simple wording with a powerful message. It is utterly important that you give respect to many of the people here, to your teachers. Your teachers want you to succeed. They want to actually teach you in the classroom, but you need to show them the respect that they deserve. Listen to their lessons, talk when called upon, to your classmates. Let me put this simply to you. Don't be disruptive in class. Maybe you're not interested in the topic, but some other classmates are, and they are trying to listen. So let them be able to listen. It's as simple as that. When you respect the community, the people here, you respect the school. You hold on to the motto of teach me goodness, discipline, and knowledge. Keep that poster in your mind. Value respect. If you want people to respect you and to treat you with kindness, then you must give them all the respect they deserve. And lastly, enjoy yourself. I remember my CLS tour during orientation. One of the seniors told me that the years will go by fast, that I myself could be a senior before I even know it. And yes, she was absolutely right. The same may happen to all of you. One day you're playing outside as a prep eight. You just had lunch with all of your friends and you're playing a heated game of Foursquare. Then the next, you're starting to take Latin as a freshman and you're desperately trying to remember that one vocabulary word that seems to slip from your mind as the seconds go by. Their quiz time quickly coming to a stop. Then the next, you're with your entire class at Camp Troy, hanging from a zip line, scared for your life as you're freezing in the cold air because you accidentally forgot your sweatshirt at home. Then you're receiving your junior ring and smiling alongside your friends as all the parents take seemingly endless pictures of you, your ring fingers proudly displayed. And finally, you're here, speaking at the second to last honors assembly, jolted back to reality. You're a senior. You graduate in just a few months. So in the end, my advice to all of you is to enjoy your time as a CLS student. Enjoy the memories you make the friendships you form, the tests you waste, and even the tests that you fail. Remember those little things and share them. Thank you for listening to me today.
in high hope that you will be able to use some of my advice for your success at Covington Latin School. Thank you. Very well done, Andrew, thank you. What Andrew recounted was Covington Latin School on the days before I got here were their field trips and norm normal activities. We'll be returning there. Right now, I'm glad to see everybody here on campus. Do enjoy yourselves. That is an important thing. There's a lot of white noise out there that interfere with our joy but push past that and keep smiling. I'd also like to thank the Alumni Association. I've been part of these monthly Zoom calls with people from all over the country, from the classes in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and the past two decades. And they loved all of your essays. They love you and they raise money to be able to support you in many ways, with these scholarships in many other ways. So keep that generous spirit. Thank you, alums. I think if you hear this Andrew speech, you know that um, the faculty here is still teaching well. Seniors, this is, a, this is the downhill slide. The key is keep your feet under you. You know, you're running down a hill, you don't wanna be rolling. Keep your feet under you. Keep enjoying it, keep smiling. Keep leading this school like you have been. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Krebs to take us out. Thank you all, congratulations to everyone for the second quarter. It was a tough quarter, came to an abrupt end, switched around, but I'm glad we got to bring candy to all of y'all in December. Thank you, Mr. Krebs. Thank you, sir. This time, our uh, guests from around the world watching on the World Wide Web can either take your leave at this time, or if you'd like, listen to some of the afternoon announcements.